What is going on, Patriots? Welcome to another edition of You Get to Joel Davis Media Network. I am back. Sorry for the uh, hiatus, but I am glad now that I can be able to talk with you guys and and uh, actually uh, get back to business. So, without further ado, we're going to talk about the current uh, news that is going around about Judge Mathis and his divorce. Now, before I jump into that, if you definitely like this channel after hearing my commentary, looking at my videos, and you definitely want to support, please don't hesitate to follow your homie. Alright? That means click on the notification button up top please like please share and subscribe as well so when I come on or release a new video you are in the loop so guys we are going to talk about like I said before the situation here with uh, Judge Mathis and his wife after being married for 39 years his wife recently filed for divorce. Now, as in filing for divorce, she says uh, irreconcilable differences. Um, she do want child support from the union. She also has clicked the box that she cannot be asked to, to do spousal support on her end towards Judge Mathis. And also, too, uh, she just uh, want him to pay for her attorney fees. Now, everybody's blown away because this has been a happy couple. Every time you see them in the public's eye, you have uh, the judge brag about his wife, how adorable she is, how loving she is, how supportive she is. So it's very uh, weird to actually see uh, these folks going through what they're going through. Now there has been uh, all kinds of rumors out there saying the reason for the divorce has been uh, infidelity on Judge Joe Mathis' part. Uh, people have uh, stated that due to a clip that has been uh, floating around again, which happened about 20 years ago, back in 2003, when uh, Judge Mathis was on the Wendy Williams talk sh uh, radio show and an interview, and she brought up about him having an affair with a woman who also was a uh, drug addict and said that he was doing drugs as well with this drug addict and he got her pregnant possibly and that she could be the mother of his unwed child uh, a child out of wedlock and also she offered to sleep with his wife at the time. Now, again, Judge uh, Mathis denied all of this uh, allegations. He was like, no, that's not true. Uh, he actually uh, went in on Wendy Williams so bad that, uh, shoot, I, I don't think Wendy would ever bring anything like that again. And he even hit her with low points about her with her drug use and doing drugs in front of her child at the time. So, it was uh, crazy uh, about that interview. But people said that uh, the whole reason that Miss Linda... Reese Mathis wants to divorce uh, Judge Mathis is because he has been working excessively and he had promised her that 
when he retired that they would go and travel and see the world and he would cut back on all of the working 80 plus hours a week now I'm about to play a clip from TMZ I'm going to pause in between some of the clip to uh, give you my opinion on it just because I don't want TMZ to ding me as I'm trying to uh, steal or use their content without fair use which is why I'm saying fair use but at the same time I want you to check the demeanor of uh, how uh, Judge Mathis is currently right now when it comes to this whole situation but if you want to see it on this entirety I will put a link of the actual uh, video in the description box so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead on and share this clip and put my two cents in it so give me one second here See if it comes up here. I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I want to. I'm not good. Rather, it's the worst days of my life. How about that? Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to ask you. You know, with the news of the separation, how are you holding up? Not holding up very well. I would say the uh, other man. Maybe I'll be an uh, example for other men. Cautionary tale. You neglect your wife. You see how many at the airport now, flying out, as I have for 40 or for 25 years. My wife has been third, serving the community, taping my show, having fun with friends. All right, I'll try to bring this up now, guys. Pardon me, hold on. y'all to listen to this clip what he's talking about and I will try to stop it in between so let me go ahead on here
go ahead on and play this. Hey, Judge Matthews, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I want to I'm not good. I'd rather, rather have the worst days of my life. How about that? Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to ask you, you know, with the news of the separation, how are you holding up? Not holding up very well. well. I would say, I would say that, uh, other man, maybe, maybe I'll be an uh, example for other men, cautionary, cautionary tale. tale. Don't neglect your wife. wife. See, how see how me at the, the airport, airport now, now, flying out. Because I, I have for 40, 40 or 40 or 25 years. years. My wife has wife been third. third. Serving the community, taping my show, having fun with friends. That's what That's happens, guys. Never, be, never too be too busy, too busy or never, never have too much, too much fun beyond your life. So I do want to ask you. I'm going to pause there. Now, he said that he had his wife third. She was always third, that he was always taping the show. He's always uh, serving the community and having fun with his friends. First and foremost, I'm going to reject that. I'm going to say that uh, Judge, I mean, like I said, I'm not a fan of Judge Mathis. Me and him are not on the same belief system on a lot of the stuff that he likes to be outspoken about, and activism, act, uh, activism, you know what I'm saying, because he has very woke uh, policies. But I can say is that I do not agree with the fact that he thinks that he has always put his wife third. Uh you build an empire. To build an empire, it takes time, it takes work, it takes a lot of sacrifice. You built this empire so she can live comfortably, the kids can live comfortably, and you can live comfortably. You've also provided a great quality of life. So, to me, this whole, I always put her third, is a bunch of BS. Uh, again, a lot of women like for you to be Superman. They want you to provide all of the amenities for them to have a awesome quality of life, not be bored, uh, be there for them, this, that, and the third. But when you have to put in that work and you have to sacrifice that valid time to make sure that they have the type of lifestyle that they claim they've been dreaming about, that's when they want to play this game of you need to slow down, you need to do this and that. And that's when you got to remind them, the time I slow down, that's the time we're going to have to cut back on the lifestyle. Because for me to maintain this lifestyle that you enjoy and love to enjoy, uh, you're going to have to let me do the things I need to do that requires a lot of time that we are not together at that present moment but you will get the benefits that you are striving for when I come back and tell you that I have completed the task and now we can love the results of us we can uh reap the benefits and spoils of our results. So let's continue with this, guys. Now, the date of separation is listed as back in July 17th. Has this been coming for some time now, or was it something out the blue? Well, ever since we uh, started taping here in L.A., I committed to staying home more and making my wife more of a priority. As you see, I have I'm still here on the road doing the same thing. And uh, in terms of... Uh, going out going to, to another, another city. city. But, but it was, it was, I was gone was for three weeks. weeks. That's, That's what, what, what July 17th meant. Would you say you two are in a good place right now or able to maintain a friendship? Or oh yeah, we're, we're still in the same house but maintaining a friendship. And I'm trying to get my wife back. Try to have to show her that though. Um, hopefully I can show while we're there together before. And hopefully she doesn't complete the process. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. I'm going to give a wife back. back. How about that? I just want to... Now, again, I, my heart goes out to the guy. Uh, I can tell right here in this actual clip that he's very emotional. He's saying he's trying to change. He's trying to do what he can to get his wife back. 
But the problem is, is that when it comes to a woman, are they willing to change their mind and save the marriage? Because we already know in America right now, 70% of all divorces are filed by the woman. She's the one that wants to bounce. And she's want to bounce on the cost of his dime. Because she's looking at it as, hmm, I can do better by myself. He's paying most of my bills and spousal support. I know he still loves me, but I, I want something different. And then that's when you got women putting 60 year old Mumu, aka Coochie, back on the market and don't even know that the only thing they're going to attract is younger men who want money and a good time or older men who just want to get that pressure release and keep it moving. I mean, it's just facts. You can't get around it. One to eliminate all the rumors, too, too, that it's something about a baby or even me molesting a child. It's none of that. I've just told you what it is. There were also, you know, kind of some rumors of any infidelity. Now, I ain't heard about that rumor, about the whole uh, violating a child. I did not hear about that rumor. Maybe that was something that just uh, came up, but I haven't heard about it. All right, let's let's continue to the rest of this. Well, well, neglect, neglect uh, uh, can create suspicion, certainly. And, and if you're gone, gone as much as, as, as I am, you have every you have right, right to suspect. suspect. You know, you go to work, you go serve in the community around the country, then you go with your guys to sporting events around the country, you go to other events, except without your wife, hanging with you, enjoying herself with you. And so, yeah, she would have a right to suspect infidelity. Now, again, this is just my analysis. Again, I am not a professional. This is just my personal opinion. So please do not... Uh, consult my analysis of this whole situation like I am a professional. I'm just going by what I've experienced and what I've seen in life. Now he said about going out uh, doing this and doing that and seeing uh, this and that. I really do feel that she possibly do think that he may be uh, going around doing things that he's not supposed to. Because of his grueling schedule. But the only way that can you can stop that it's gotta be communication. Alright. Let's see what the last one is, guys. This is ooh, this is tough. There's none of that going on. That's not that's not perfect. That's not that's the reason for that. All right, guys, you saw that, you heard that. Stop sharing right quick. All right, so, guys, this is why Young folks are not marrying anymore. I know y'all get sick of hearing us as content creators talk about this, but it's the truth. This is why young men are no longer invested in getting married anymore. Because they see situations like this. You guys been together for 39 years. And all of a sudden, she wants to bounce. Everybody's going to bust out and say, well, you don't know. She might have been tortured or she might have been abused. Or what? Well, I can tell that ain't the reason. The whole reason is a lot of these women want to be independent and they want to bet on themselves 
not only in making it without the man, but also when it comes to their love life as well too. But there's a new flat news flash behind it. The only thing they're gonna get in their love life are people that are trying to enjoy. Taking a long pause. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, this is why young people is not wanting to get married. Uh, young people just, the young men in today's society, like I said, when they see someone together for 39 years, a woman that had held this man down before he got his law degree, before he blew up on the scene. And here it is, kids grown, everybody's done left the nest, and she wants to leave it really and she wants spousal support and want him to pay her uh, divorce fees with men young men are like I'm out on this that's why a lot of the younger generation of men do not want to get married uh, there is another example of why women love to uh, divorce after so many years uh, infidelity uh, now if he swear out there was no infidelity I don't know I'm not in their in their business like that, but like I said before, there's been rumors that he has had infidelity, uh, infidelity, oh, infidelity moments. But hopefully, this is all untrue. All right. Uh, another reason could be they don't have anything in common no more because everybody has left the nets. See, a lot of people don't understand that sometimes women and men goes through this uh, called empty nest syndrome. The kids are gone. Uh, the kids are grown up. Y'all don't have nothing to relate anymore like you did before. Alright. So anyway... Uh, I don't know, man. This is this is hard. I, 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 like I said, I'm not a Judge Mathis fan like this, but it, it really hurts me to see 39 years of marriage go down the drain because of uh, somebody feels like they're not being considered enough. Uh, I hope that Miss Linda Mathis look at these videos of us as. Uh, young men and women or even older ones and take our advice and try to fight for the marriage because it's hard out here right now to find someone to mate with or to, to grow old with. I, it is. Uh, today's uh, human beings are very whew, are very unpredictable. And so if you can actually survive whatever you're going through with your spouse within reason and work through it you'll be just fine all right guys this is joel davis media network please again if you like this video like share subscribe we love you guys take care i'm out